Hello, welcome to blog web .org. In today's video, we are going to take a look at WordPress 4.0 using beta 1. So it's officially released and I've already created a yearly video about WordPress 4.0 using alpha versions and featured plugins. But uh, looks like that some of the features are not yet there, but some of the features are uh, new. So you can go to this uh, WordPress news. Uh, which is actually published in July 10 and you can see the new you can read the new uh, features that are now in WordPress 4.0 uh, beta 1 so if you find a bug you can just uh, report to them and it will be very helpful so I recommend also that you don't use it to your live site or protection site but install locally in your computer check out my other tutorial how you can install WordPress any versions in uh, Mac or in Windows uh, offline in your PC. So let's get started. First, I'm using MEM in my system and I'm just uh, copy the WordPress 4 beta 1 uh, files on my uh, this URL and if I hit hit um, enter it will open the installation because I just want to install and as uh, shown in my first video it shows uh, it gives you options to choose the language that you want to use to install this WordPress uh, blog and I just uh, now choose English United States for now and then click the arrow button and the installation process and uh, it will be the same as the older version so let me quick install this uh, WordPress 4.0 So welcome to WordPress 4.0 using uh, beta 1 versions and as you can see it's still um, quite the same so I'm just going to uh, hover this uh, WordPress icon and then about WordPress page actually you can access it in about.php inside wb-admin folder and um, it's still quite the same with WordPress 3.9 so the new features are not yet included here and um, so Let's get uh, started with the uh, new features first. Besides the installation uh, language options, you can uh, go to media and then library and the create feature because now we don't have any image so it says no media found. So let's add new uh, image for now. Going just to upload this. And as you can see now, all uploaded in it. And this is the old uh, versions of media library in WordPress. And this is the newest now. So you can view it in create or in list. And you can see that there is an error here. And you can edit the image from here, the metadata caption, alt text, and description. And also the error to move from one image to another. So that's the new media grid and other than media grid, uh, now we have uh, plugins new appearance. So if I go to plugins and add new and let's say we want now to install admin um, plugins. So just for this uh, video purpose. So this is the new appearance of plugins page in WordPress 4.0 and in WordPress older versions if we go to plugins and add new and go to admin I mean we install admin plugins and this is the uh, the uh, older appearance and we go to details and it's showing something like this it's uh, looking really different uh, using the older appearance but now if we go to more details and as you can see this is what we see actually in uh, in in uh, wordpress.org plugin page so the new features in plugin page and I hope people will like it and I hope uh, a lot of people will get used to it fast and the next is that the editor itself so let's go to post and add new and here we're going to enter the title new post and we're going to um, paste lorem ipsum so here I'm going to paste just the lorem ipsum and um, as you notice that we don't have the scroll, uh, the second scroll bar here. Also, we cannot uh, resize the post box. So let me click on uh, screen options and just to make the page uh, longer here. So if I scroll, this is actually the first scroll bar in your browser. And the second scroll bar that we actually saw in uh, 
the older version it's not here anymore also the resize window is gone so I'm going to show you the older version so add new and same post in um, Lorem Ipsum text and just going to go to visual and as you can see this is the second scroll bar that we don't find in WordPress 4.0 because uh, it's gone already but uh, for that we can just scroll and it will move and the post itself, the post uh, editor will stick over there until we reach the bottom of our post and then it will uh, be gone so in the older version you have this uh, scroll bar, the second scroll bar and also you have the resize window to resize your post box but when you scroll your uh, first bar, your browser bar uh, the uh, this uh, text editor will scroll up and gone so actually uh, I don't know which one that you will prefer but uh, I guess this is the improvement of um, of WordPress 4.0 you don't have the uh, second scroll bar and when you scroll your browser it will automatically scroll your uh, post area and I hope it will increase the productivity of uh, bloggers who use uh, WordPress so far the next is that uh, the widget uh, customizer. So if you go to appearance and customize, um, maybe I just have to publish it. So go back again, appearance and customize. Now here is the uh, the new customizer that that. Uh, almost similar in the older versions, but except now they have uh, widgets in a uh, in a very organized way. So if you click on widget, it will show you then the widget area, widget section, the content sidebar. So at the moment it says that primary sidebar is the sidebar pairing to in the left. You have search, arrows and pause, and so forth. And for example, you want to add um, the content sidebar let's say the right one so I'm just going to hit a uh, content sidebar and add new widget and now I have a calendar for example it will show the calendar hit save and publish and go back to the customizer again you see that now we have widgets and the uh, theme customizer itself so it's divided in a very organized way so the next feature is interesting one so it's a uh, embed uh, visual view so if I uh, go now if I'm back now to our post and let's say now I want to embed uh, anything that WordPress uh, uh, supports or embed for example now I'm going to uh, embed one of my video in YouTube so I'm just going to hit share and then uh, copy the URL here and then minimize that and then I'm going to embed that YouTube video here so somewhere in my post and I'm on visual tab here and notice that as long as I paste this uh, URL it will show the visual so I'm going to paste it now and notice that it shows the visual on visual uh, tab editor here the thumbnail of the uh, associated uh, YouTube video that actually we could not find in WordPress uh, older version so now in the same post using WordPress uh, 3.9.9.1 and um, now in the same post I'm going to paste this uh, YouTube video URL and it will not show the visual even though if I preview it now it will show uh, the video itself so uh, that's the difference between the older version and the WordPress 4.0 using beta 1 so I'm excited to see the other new features if there are any in the next uh, update so I hope you also uh, excited just like I am now so thank you for watching this video and take care of yourself see you in the next videos goodbye